2020 Pro Bowl. Am I right or am I right? Um, so this was completely unexpected. Um, again, like yesterday's video, completely unexpected. And here we are. We are talking about the 2020 Pro Bowl and why I'm going to watch it this year. Um, now, there's a couple of things that came out earlier today that really set me off and was like, yeah, I'm going to watch this thing. Um, honestly, I was going to watch it anyway. Um, probably, you know, we got plenty of things to do on Sunday before Super Bowl Sunday, um, a week before Super Bowl Sunday. Um, but, you know, I will talk about all these things as they get close. Um, but... First things first is the new fourth down and fifteen or er, opportunity from the thirty-five yard line that the Broncos posed last year in the league meetings, and it was you know an alternative to the onside kick, as we know. Um, you know. The Pro Bowl doesn't have a kickoff, so this rule will just kind of apply at any point during the game. Um, and it says, you know, Pro Bowl will test these new rules. So this is from the CVS Sports um, um, site to where I got this article from. So that's how you know I'm citing my sources. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so the NFL initially was like, nah, we ain't doing this back in November. But now the Pro Bowl will test these new rules out, and it's going to be a little twist to them. So the scoring team will like to give the ball to the opposition at, at their 25, or it may elect to take the ball at its own 25-yard line instead of the 35, as originally proposed, for a 4 15 play if successful. The team will maintain possession, and if not, it'll be a turnover. So the Pro Bowl doesn't have any kickoffs, and and yeah, it's um, yeah the onside kick thing has not been a it's not really been a factor, you know, at all the last couple of years, except for like the three times that the Falcons got um, an onside against the Saints. <laughs> so. You know that that that's very interesting in and of itself. Um, but the other thing is the illegal shift penalty that the NFL wants to adjust, which gives a which gives the wide receivers a reprieve when they're lined up at the two point stance, and they can they can move um, one foot while at the two point stance as long as another foot is on the ground. And, you know, the receiver will have an opportunity to, you know, just reset themselves. Like, when a defensive player just jumps in the neutral zone. and But they have to immediately go back on the other side. <sighs> and, you know, you gotta have your... You gotta have at least one foot on the ground for this to work. And you gotta, you gotta stay like that for a full second, so... You know, it is what it is, as far as that goes. Um, and this could be a sign of things to come for 2020. As we know, the AAF had a 4 for 15 um, style play that was for onside kicks. Um, and it worked out pretty well. Um, I liked it, and it worked out very much well. Um, as... And as we know, the AF died eight weeks in, so you know it is what it is there. Um, but this could mean something. I think there's going to be some changes. There has to be some changes in the off season anyway. Um, we already talked about this in the NFL rule changes video that I did about a week or two ago. Um, but yeah, I'm going to watch the Pro Bowl this year. There's going to be some things that are going to be like, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. There's gonna be some things that's just not very interesting at all. But we'll, but we'll see what we get. Ugh. And also, um, as a you know a little reminder here, um, if you check the playlist 
in my channel there's a playlist called the objective slant playlist and it is my television program that I or that I do each and every month that show is doing very very well and um, the latest episode has been uploaded to YouTube you can if you live in Denton Denton Texas um, you can also watch on Frontier and Spectrum as well um, on those television networks on cable but mostly just watch it on YouTube um, and everything like that um, yeah that episode for January has been out uh, for about an hour now and it's gonna be great you know, when everybody starts looking at it um, but yeah that's that's it for this video and we'll see you guys in the next one in just a few moments